So this is how a uh, SaaS window look like. So this is the SaaS software, okay? And we'll see what are the various windows in this one. So you see there is program editor window. This window is program editor. This is where you will be writing your SaaS code. So this is the program editor window where you will be writing your SAS code. This is the log window. This will be log window is nothing but the activity. So whatever activity you are performing through code, there will be a log created for each of those. It can be a failure message. It can be a success message or it can be a warning message as well okay so whatever activity this code will be doing will be recorded here okay third window is the output window as the name specifies this output this is this is where you will be seeing your output okay this is the explorer window explorer window where you will be looking for libraries which we'll be discussing today in the class. You can import files from your PC as well, your desktop or your laptops, okay, to explore things. And this is the results window. Results window is like the table of contents. So whatever output is there, you can see it in the form of contents. So like this is one of the output, if you click on this one, you will see the output here. So we have covered five windows so far, which is the main windows. First is the program editor window, where you will be writing your SAS code. Second window is the log window, and it records the activities, whether the code was a success, whether the code was a failure, or it generated some warnings or not. The third window which we discussed was output window where you'll be looking at the output. The fourth window is the libraries, explorer window, where you will be exploring the libraries, where you will be seeing the outputs, inputs, and everything. The fifth window is the results window. Results window is nothing but like the table of contents of output. Table of contents of output. Okay. If you click on this, you will be getting the output here. Now going back to the buttons. This running button will submit your SAS code. Submit your SAS code. So the first code is compiled and then run, right? We'll be discussing what is compilation and how we are running the code. Okay, so this is to, for now, just understand this, this is to submit the SAS program which you have written. Okay, and this is the help button. To this, you can save. It is just typical like any uh, windows. Okay, this is how you can open. So all other functionalities are normal, which is there in any windows. But these were the special buttons which, which you need to be mentioned here. So this is the submit to, submit button. This is the help button. And these are the various windows you should be knowing about. So every SAS has two steps. One is the data step. Another one is the proc step. In all SAS, these are the only two steps which are there. But again, these procedures have different categories that we'll be discussing that where what are the various procedures. But for now, just understand that SAS is 
divided into four parts. So first you access the data. This is always the first step, right? You read the data. Then you manage or you can say manipulate. Manipulate the data as per your needs. You add new variables. You uh, change the existing look of the variables. Okay. And then you do the analysis or you analyze the data. That how your data look like graphically or maybe some descriptive statistics right so the major role of data scientists is to access the data manage or manipulate we call it as uh, data preparation okay or manipulate we do it as data cleaning as well So this is manage or manipulating the data. Then we analyze the data. Analyzing the data means we explore the data. Or in data scientist language, we call it as exploratory data analysis. I'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video. Please like the video. And if you have any doubts regarding this video, please comment us in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Do look out for other related videos in our playlist. For more information, visit our website now. Keep learning with IntelliPat.